bro, with these two guys, the beauty of it is money's got nothing to do with this oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. so it's you hard. know yeah bro you know it's gonna be a hundred percent shoot these yeah. guys don't care about the money and i th- i think it's awesome man both of these guys love mma yeah. uh they they both are, are, are working out with like world-renowned uh trainers i think this would be awesome bro Speaking of drawing money, there's also a uh, a confrontation that's been super super buzzing as of late. That is the uh, the the CEOs, the the head honchos of two of the biggest social media platforms in the world, ladies and gentlemen. Facebook's Mark Zuckerberg and uh, X's Elon Musk. So. Uh, I have recently saw pictures of uh, Zuckerberg. I haven't seen pictures. I mean, I've seen interviews of Musk, but I haven't seen recent pictures of him. But I've seen pictures of Zuckerberg, and he's shoot fighting, training now, doing some MMA stuff. Uh, looks in great shape, man, and uh, he's ready to rock and roll. So apparently, Elon Musk and Mark Zuckerberg is a thing. Yeah. <laughs> is a oh. thing. You know what I love about this, doctor? I'll tell you what I love about this. Yeah, Bro, yeah. I always used to be a mark for that celebrity boxing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But the only problem with that is you never knew if it was a work because right. everybody involved, bro, were in a point of their lives or careers where they needed the money. Yes. I remember when Joey Buttafuoco fought yeah. China. It was <laughs> always that type of a celebrity where they needed the cash. So... You know, it, it was a great concept, but you never knew, you know, this was a work or whatever. Yeah. Bro, with these two guys, the beauty of it is money's got nothing to do with this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it's you hard. know, yeah, bro, you know it's going to be a 100% shoot. These yeah. guys don't care about the money. And I th- I think it's awesome, man. Both of these guys love MMA. Yeah. Uh, they they both are, are, are working out with like world renowned uh, trainers. I think this would be awesome, bro. I agree, man. And, and to your point, Vince, it's it's not a money thing. I mean, they're they're literally two of the richest people in the world. So it's mm-hmm. they don't they don't need another dime from anybody. No. I mean, they'll take it, but they don't need it. Of course, they don't need it. So it, it, it is just all about just bumping up both of their socials. I mean, like it, it's a great business move because it'll be plastered all through Facebook. It'll be plastered all through X. So it would be absolutely an, a money magnet to see these two. And you and I were talking off air as far as Dana White's views on it. He's in for it. Uh, he was asked, you know, at a press conference as far as like when it's going to be. He said he, he recently talked to Mark Zuckerberg. He's about to talk to Elon Musk. And he said that, uh, you know, the, he's not set on a date, but he's working on it. So yeah. Dana White's behind it. And that's, uh, you know, that that bumps uh, Endeavor eventually, you know, because, because uh, you know, UFC is under Endeavor. And so, you know, does WWE get a rub from this? Do, do you add them in there somehow with the yeah. Endeavor purchase? How, how do you implement that? We did see Triple H, you know, uh, be offered, I mean, he be, being referenced. So, so WWE was referenced by Elon Musk. Triple H, you know, did reference that recently as far as being in the pot as well. Where do you see WWE possibly fitting in here? Yeah, see, bro, that's because of what I said. I would not work the WWE in this because it's wrestling. That's wrestling. You see what I'm saying? If now you start marrying this dude, now you're going to put doubt in people's minds. Nothing against the WWE, but that's the first place you would go and you would think. So I, I, I would totally, totally, you know, leave them out of it. Bro, even like even if they if, if they were judges, I, I think you'd be asking the question if the fix was in. You, you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, you know, bro, what, what what's good about this, too, uh, Chris, I, is I guarantee you, since this has nothing to do with money to either one of these guys, 
Uh, you know, bro, perhaps, you know, I, I, I'm sure I'll, pr- some of the proceeds go to a good cause. Yes. Maybe, maybe, maybe people in need, yep. uh, countries in need, our country, you know, can can benefit sure. from these two basically doing something they love. But I think once you involve wrestling, that's when people go, oh, OK, I, I knew it. You know what I mean? I, that, that makes sense. The one thing I can see wrestling being involved is from a promotion standpoint. Oh, absolutely. You know, absolutely. I mean? yes. When you think of like, like, yes, WWE sweet spot is promotion. 100%. Absolutely. You know what I mean, so, yes. so when it comes to entertainment and promotion, yes. WWE is your go to when it comes to that. Absolutely. UFC, you have an audience that are really big on just the, just the, the names and the success of their MMA careers. You don't see a lot of characters kind of stand out. Like, of course, Conor McGregor, he stands out. But, I mean, like a John Jones, a Amanda Nunez, those are all good fighters, but they're not really known for characters. Right. Ronda Rousey was a machine, so she started to get a groundswell of attention because she was plowing through talent. As we saw, even with her WWE career, her success in, in UFC didn't necessarily translate a lot in WWE because she was devoid of a strong character and to her to her benefit to her point that's that was their business move they decided to you know cash in on the fact that she was getting big however UFC is not known to be a character driven right. company right so WWE's involvement would absolutely bring the entertainment out, make Elon Musk a character, make Zuckerberg a character, and do that promotion there to help help. I, I that that part of it, I agree with one thousand percent. Absolutely, yes. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, just think of the promos. I mean, both of you. I mean, you've worked there. You you've seen it firsthand. Just the production that WWE has with making promo videos is just second. It's it's just it's really unprecedented. 